So I am humbled by this evening and to be honored by a family that has given this country so much. A family that's challenged us to ask what we can do for our country, to dream and say why not, to seek a cause that endures and sail against the wind in its pursuit. That's what this family has done for America. And to all the members of the Kennedy family that are here tonight, thank you. I could not be more grateful to the Profile in Courage Award Committee for this honor. I'm also grateful that unlike the Nobel Prize Committee, you waited until I was out of office. <laughs> for those of us of a certain age, the Kennedys symbolized a set of values and attitudes about civic life that made it such an attractive calling. The idea that politics, in fact, could be a noble and worthwhile pursuit. The notion that our problems, while significant, are never insurmountable. Resilient and optimistic. It's worth remembering this, the times in which President Kennedy led us. Because for many Americans, I know that this feels like an uncertain and even perilous time. And at such moments, courage is necessary. At such moments, we need courage to stand up to hate, not just in others, but in ourselves. At such moments, we need the courage to stand up to dogma, not just in others, but in ourselves. At such moments, we need courage to believe that together we can tackle big challenges like inequality and climate change. At such moments, it's necessary for us to show courage in challenging the status quo and in fighting the good fight, but also show the courage to listen to one another and seek common ground and embrace principled compromise.